my name's Bob, and once again I'd like to welcome you to another episode on the White Dog Garage YouTube channel. In this episode we're going to be making a couple of screw jacks and I thought you'd like to follow along. They are a rather simple thing to build and there are many variations on the theme. Screw jacks are handy things because you can use packers to slightly raise the level, but every now and then you need that fine adjustment that a screw jack can give you. It's a rather simple exercise to make and I've just found a few items around the workshop that I'm going to use in my build. I've got uh, two M12 bolts, hex bolts, and a piece of, uh, it's about 30 millimeter diameter stock, and that's what I'll be using. So this is the plan. It's a little, uh, I don't know, um, Apollo capsule style shape. The base would be 30 millimeters, essentially the diameter of the stock. And I'll be machining the top down to 20 millimeters in diameter. Down the center, I will tap an M12 thread. It's M12 coarse. And it'll be 50 millimeters long. And obviously, the bolt will sit above that and then I will machine the top of the bolt to take a little turntable of my choice. I start by chucking up the stock in the three jaw and set it with about 60 millimeters of the bar protruding from the chuck. Yeah. First thing I did is face off the end. Then I turn down the last 10 millimeters of the bar to a diameter of 20 millimeters. I then set the compound slide at an angle of about 8 degrees to the direction of travel. After which I machined the taper down to the base by progressive passes of the compound slide. If you do the trigonometry, the angle needed is 8.13 degrees based on the design that I've shown. But there's no need to set this to the level of accuracy that I demonstrated in the recent episode on machining a national pipe taper. This taper is really just about appearance, more so than any engineering requirement. In fact, many practitioners would simply drill and tap the center of the stock and leave the original outer diameter of the stock unchanged.
The next action is to drill and tap the center and I start by center drilling and then follow up with a 10mm diameter drill. The thread size being used here is M12 coarse which has a thread diameter of 12mm and a pitch of 1.75mm. The correct drill to use for the M12 tap is 10.2mm but I find a 10mm jobber drill and lots of cutting oil will also do the job. The centre hole was drilled through to a depth of 60mm even though the body of the jack will be 50mm long. This extra 10mm allows clearance for the point of the drill as well as the taper of the tap. Off camera I will run a bottoming or plug tap down to the end but here I'm cutting the thread using an intermediate tap. Here I am using a knurling tool to knurl the top collar of the jack body. This area will be used to grip the top of the jack while using a spanner to adjust the height of the jack's turntable. If you wanted extra purchase you could drill a hole into the side of the jack body and use a bar to hold it still. All that remains is to part off the jack body from the stock. Parting off on the lathe it's always an adventure but I find slow and steady wins the race. I have always intended this video to show a quick and easy way to make mini screw jacks. In that vein I have chucked up a length of 20mm diameter round stock to make the turntable. Leaving the outer diameter as found, 20mm, I will be machining the end down to a cylinder 6mm in diameter and 6mm long. This cylinder will seat the turntable in the head of the bolt that I will be using as the screw. Having machined the end of the turntable to size, I then parted it off from the stock.
The bolt I am using for the jack screw has raised lettering telling its grade and that it is metric on the top of the head. That's good to know, but now that it is going to be used, I need to machine the top of the bolt head flat and then drill a 6mm diameter hole which will hold the turntable in the centre. So as not to damage the thread, I am holding the bolt and the collet chuck on the lathe. I start by facing the top of the bolt head. Then I used a centre drill to mark the hole position for the turntable, followed by drilling it out to size. Perfect fit. To give the finished screw jack some protection against corrosion and to darken them up a bit so that they do not look too out of place with the black oxide finish of the clamp kit with which they will probably be used, I decided to treat them to a hot gluing process. I am using the oxyacetylene torch to heat the pieces, but other heat sources such as MAP Pro, propane, natural gas or liquid petroleum gas, also called LPG, would work just as well. I'm aiming to get the parts red hot and as the colour fades from red, just fades from red, which is about the range of 580 to 520 degrees Celsius, I quench them in oil. The result is a blue to black appearance which I am quite happy with and the jacks are ready to use. Hot bluing is not mandatory of course, if you're making a set you could leave them as bare metal, but beware of rust or you could just paint them. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope if you think you might want to make a set of these that I've given you at least uh, an outline of how you need to go about it. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, by all means give it a thumbs up. And please, share it. Share it widely amongst your friends, even with people who aren't your friends. If you haven't already subscribed, well, that's fine. But if you'd like to subscribe, and I would like you to, please hit the subscribe bar down below. While you're there, ding the bell so you get a notification from YouTube the next time an episode airs on the White Dog Garage YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. Talk to you in the next episode. Bye.